Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Shout out to my buddy John for letting me borrow this baby. But this is what we're talking about quick for this video. You can probably see from some of the wear, this is definitely not new, but from what my buddy tells me, this is a service used Trigicon ACOG. And this particular one, you know, this is the biggest ACOG I've ever seen in my life. I quite honestly didn't even know that this type right here existed. This is supposed to be calibrated for a 308 Winchester. Would have been in service on a 308. Looking through the reticle, um, yeah. What you see in an ACOG, it's got the uh, drop reticle with a four marking, a six, so 400, 500, 600, seven, 800 yards or meters and yeah pretty cool i'm gonna slap this thing on a 308 and just see how she runs and have a little bit of fun out here on the range but the only markings on this thing are trigicon acog on this side and then it says acog three to five by 35 5 colon 16 then on this side it just says trigicon acog contains tritium the purchaser is exempt from any regulatory responsibility U.S. patent number, yada, yada, yada. But hey, pretty cool. Has these little hand tighten knobs on it. Pretty cool. This is one of those things. You never know where this was. It might have been all over the world on, on some U.S. servicemen's uh, 308. But hey, pretty cool. Uh, let me show you a little bit close look at this, and then I'll show you the Bulat Slinger. We're going to slap this thing on for this video. Should be pretty cool. All right, so like I said, let me give you a little bit better up close look at this thing. Definitely has seen some use, but really what matters is the reticle. There's some more markings on here. Uh, 11501. I wonder if I can get you guys to see the reticle through here. See how clear that is? Let me get up here on the range and see if he can see it. There you go. So you guys can see that chevron on the top is illuminated. You can see how clear that glass is. Man, that's just cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Super, super clear. Trigicon ACOG meant for a 308. But give you another quick look up close. Three and a half magnification. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. But what am I slapping it on today? I'm putting it on this CMMG Endeavor 308. I suppose you could put it on whatever you want to, but since it's calibrated for 308, we might as well put it on a 308. I have not had this one out in a long time. Doesn't even have an optic on it, but I have hunted with this in 308 if you want to see those videos. I've also taken this thing out to a thousand yards if you want to see that video. But we're going to slap this on. And for today's video, I'm going to be feeding it with some of this Remington 308 Winchester 168 grain Premier Match. And we'll see how I can do with this thing. Just at a hundred yards doing some planking with it. But let me get this thing slapped on here. Just to show you what this premier match 308 looks like it's a hollow point boat tail there we go is the focus that's what these 308s look like that we're about to run through this thing real quick reminder guys if you haven't checked out the new site definitely go check it out real simple hootiehoo.com there's all types of bonus content on there there's a merch store we got stuff like these true timber hootie hoo hats coming out with new stuff out there all the time even some new blaze orange hats for hunting season i'm excited about that the blog all kind of extra articles that i'm writing go up on the website and if you are subscribed to the hootie hoo newsletter you're automatically entered for a bunch of giveaways we've already given away vortex optics shirts hats and other stuff i can't even remember if anything definitely make sure your sign up for the newsletter over on hootiehoo.com. Let's get back to the video. All right, back at 100 yards here. Actually testing out a few things. 
I've never run this one suppressed. I've got my Vanish 30 Gold on here. And of course, we're testing that Trigicon. That's the whole point of this video. What else was I just thinking? Oh yeah, this is a new target stand we got down there. That's the Caldwell Ultimate Steel Target Stand. All right, so three and a half zoomies. I'm not worried about insane precision, but I'm still gonna do my best and uh send them rather quickly i got five targets drawn down there let's uh see what i can do here 308 suppressed with this three and a half zoomy trigicon i did check the bore uh the bore side of it and it's pretty close so we're probably not gonna hit bullseyes but we ought to be close bottom dot here Yeah, it's actually pretty close, just barely to the left of it. All right, now let's go to the right one. Hmm, definitely getting some gas back in the face. Now the middle target. Hmm, lots of gas back in the face. Ooh. Even with these big old glasses on, that's why I put these on to block the gas. But man, left circle. And the top one. And locked back open. So, hey, uh, let's run down there and check out those groups. Definitely got that can hot running it that fast. But uh, cool to know that this Endeavor 308 runs with that can on there. All right, so up here at the target, guys, man, I'm telling you, I'm impressed. So we did five groups, one, two, three, four, five holding spots. So here's a group. Guys, just to show you my thumb, that's, that's like a one inch group. These circles are a penny, which is three quarters of an inch. That's like a one inch group. I did all these pretty fast too. That's three in pretty near the same hole. That's like a point two something inch group probably. Then that group of three, that group of three, and then that group of three. But again, I was running it pretty fast and <laughs> I had all that gas coming back in my eyeball. So, uh, but yeah, that thing would be awesome on any 308. Let me tell you, and this is a hundred yards with three and a half power zoom. Pretty, pretty cool, quite honestly, better than I thought. And if I really slowed down and took my time, I guarantee you, if the rig's capable of that, we ought to be able to do that every time. That's pretty sweet. All right, so I know this was just a real simple, quick test, testing this thing out mainly, but man, let me tell you, I am impressed. So for a long time, I have poo-pooed on these ACOGs simply because of the cost. So you guys probably didn't see it perfectly clear through the camera, but the glass in these, even this one being so old, I have no idea how old this is. I would assume at least 10, 15 years old, but like I said, I honestly have no idea. It's not mine, I borrowed it. Uh, but the clarity in this is incredible. We pretty near put them in the same hole at 100 yards just by slapping this thing on here. Uh, now this Endeavor, it's a pretty sweet rig. Uh, long barrel, uh, like I said, we've taken this out to a thousand yards before, but I'm kind of jealous. Uh, I might try to see uh, if he wants to let this one go. Cause I would love to just leave this sucker sit on there. Uh, absolutely love it, pick it up and go. Um, but like I said, in the past, I've poo-pooed on these ACOGs because they are so expensive. Somebody can correct me who knows better than me, but last time I looked into these, the cheapest ones were fifteen hundred, two grand. And I don't know about you, but um, the budget-friendly stuff is the stuff that I can afford, like the fifty-dollar knockoffs, um, which will get the job done fine too. Uh, but if you ever put one of these up side by side, you can definitely tell the difference in the clarity and all that. Uh, but this thing's an absolute hoot, like I said. Wish it were mine. But we're also testing this can. 
Never run this 308 suppressed. Again, that's a Banish 30 gold can. Ran good. Uh, lots of gas back in my face. Like I said, um, even with those big old blocky sunglasses, I was having a hard time even just getting back in the scope because of so much gas in my face. But at least we know it runs. Um, yeah, I absolutely love this thing. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you're a fan of these ACOGs. Have you ever seen one of these bigger ones for a 308? Pretty, pretty sweet. Um, I'm probably going to be keeping an eye out for some deals on some because, like I said, I think it's perfect for this CMMG, which I didn't even have a scope on because I robbed it for something else. Uh, but three and a half fixed power works out awesome. Uh, it'd be cool to test those reticles at further distances too, 400 yards, 600 yards, just to test them out. But hey, appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for coming along for this quick video. Always trying to bring you guys new and interesting things that we come across. Hey, appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo -dee hoo